KBRT, radio airplay for the British Isles. Top of the morning to Queen and country. You're listening to KBRT, five minute spot of news with a spot of tea. I'm Penelope Pithgate. And this is Arabella Winthrop. Our top story for the hour, a tabby cat inadvertently pranced atop the chief switchboard laptop at the London Stock Exchange overnight, opening the UK Board of Trade at 1am this morning and sending stocks and indices across Britain and the European Union plummeting and rising like the UK bungee club on a weekend outing. The cat was neutered, I mean neutralised, by security. You're listening to KBRT. Penelope? Thank you, Arabella. The cast of Cats refuses to leave the West End theatre stage once the show was finally cancelled after 33 years of clawing its way into hearts worldwide. In a fit of protest, the poop troupe claims it's on its ninth life and too long in the tooth for any new gigs. The cloud of Toms and Mollies are napped just outside the doors of the Grand West End. And now to hear from KBRT's charming little weatherman, Roger Cyrus. Mr. Cyrus, what issue of weather might, might we be expecting today, tomorrow, and the fortnight? Well, in this fair land of ours, the forecast goes as follows. Fog, 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 and more bloody fog. This has been your KBRT weather appraisal. Get out your London trench coats and fog horns. You'll need them. Oh, Penelope, do you hear that? That sound reminds me of the Titanic on its way to America. Speaking of our daughter nation, let's pop over the pond to the States, shall we? With our correspondent to the colonies, William Alfrights, who happens to be on assignment at historic Independence Hall in Philadelphia. William, what say you? Please, call me Bill. All righty, Bill Alfrights. How goes it inside Independence Hall? Passable, Arabella, quite passable. This is Bill Alfrights, England is, and I am literally standing in front of the iconic crack itself, the Liberty Bell. As members of the American Congress heard into Independence Hall to repeal the Second Amendment, more commonly known as the right to bear arms. If the motion carries, it appears bloody Americans everywhere will be forced to wear sleeves in order to form a more perfect union of a shirt-to-pant attire. Staked out in Philly, this is Bill Offrights for KBRT, London, ladies. We thank you, Bill Offrights, for signing off from Philadelphia. A newsworthy note in music. Beatles legendary lead singer Paul McCartney has died, or rather dyed his hair at a sweet charity funeral. Oopsie, a, a fundraiser for his liver, fool. Penelope, Penelope, that reads, British legendary lead singer Paul McCartney has dyed his hair for a charity fundraiser held in Liverpool. Gracious TK, <coughs> Arabella, I certainly blurred the blunder on that one. The BBC is sure to issue a reprimand. And now a respite of commercial from our most magnanimous sponsor. Tea time, everyone. Tea. Introducing the Danforth English Teapot Pewter Tea Infuser. Inspired and designed by classic English teapot tea infusers of the past. The Danforth English Teapot Tea Infuser can hold up to a pot of loose leaf tea. The service exceeds FDA food safety regulations. Made using only the finest pewter, 100% lead free. Handmade in Vermont, or rather Verwood. That's it, Verwood. The Danforth English Teapot Tea Infuser. Give it some sugar. KBRT. Air radio airplay for the British Isles. Lovely to share your return. Arabella, what do we have in store next for our radio audience? Special correspondent John Ness has just walked in the studio to do his weekly bit entitled Suspicious Ness. John? Thank you, anchors. British investigators are trying to put a finger on a two-part vehicular accident inside the Carpal Tunnel, north-northwest of the London Port Authority. The dreadful misfortune involved hand model Ursula Wentwright and world-renowned sign linguist Peter Dulleft. Both parties sustained injuries including numbness in the fingers and digits, as well as curvature of the knuckles. For KBRT, this is John Ness with this week's installment of Suspicious Ness reporting just a flip of the wrist south of the Carpal Tunnel. My word, John. Pardon my intrusion, Penelope, but I've just received word that beat reporter Emma Crumpet has a Brit bulletin for our KBRT followers. Out to you, Emma. You won't believe this, listeners, but a tremor caused by the Loch Ness monster slapping its tail on the beaches of Normandy have sent all of the British Isles in quite a quiver. As a result, London bridges are falling down, falling down, falling down. London bridges are falling down? 
Indeed, my fair ladies. Holy wars, Arabella, this is a matter of national security. Worse than that, we don't have time for the cricket scores. This has been your KBRT five minute spot of news. I'm Penelope Pithgate. And this is Arabella Winthrop closing by saying, Britain may be for lovers, but for time being, I'd take cover. KBRT, radio airplay for the British.